is much greater than we knew. The IRTC says no thumbs down to Radio Ireland. It says it just wants answers. Good evening and welcome. The Taoiseach has confirmed that there will be a Garda investigation into recent leaking of government documents. This follows the furore over a Department of Foreign Affairs report concerning presidential candidate Mary McAleese, which was leaked to a Sunday newspaper. The Taoiseach now says he accepts that John Bruton wasn't involved, but he says someone of high political acumen was. And there were further bitter exchanges between Fianna Foyle and Fianna Gael today, this time over the role of commentator Owen Harris. Said, For the second time in the space of 24 hours, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael have been engaged in a bitter exchange of words over the presidential campaign. On the news at one today, Noel Dempsey said it had become clear that since commentator Owen Harris had lunch with John Bruton in a Dublin restaurant last week, the nature of Fine Gael's tactics had changed. And it's quite clear from that particular meeting and from that time from anybody that's following the presidential election campaign uh, that the Fine Gael tack has changed, that they've turned to smear and innuendo and attacking our candidate. So uh, Owen Harris needn't tell me that that was an, a quite innocent, casual meeting. This afternoon Owen Harris told RTE News that as a friend of John Bruton's he often offers him views, but at the lunch last week they agreed not to discuss the presidential race. I meet Roy Roy Dooney and John Bruton regularly. They bring me to dinners when, when he was in government. I am a friend of John Bruton's. We love to talk about politics. We tell funny stories. We had good long for stories at the lunch. Across the room for us, and this is the base of the story, Brian Cowan, Fianna Fáil's Rottweiler, and uh, Fenton Drury, the communications expert, were having lunch together. They saw us, we exchanged greetings, and I think on the basis of that simple luncheon, Noel Dempsey and Brian are building this, 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 this whole thing. And it's actually a puff of smoke. Fianna Fáil have decided to reduce the level of debate now to the laughable proportions of where two people, John Bruton and Owen Harris, cannot even have lunch together, but there is a difficulty in relation to it. And just because the Minister for Health, Brian Cowan, happened to be in the same restaurant, uh, it's a big story. And I don't accept the fact that uh, uh, Fianna Fáil uh, should be snooping around, watching people having lunch, it, re it reminds me of what used to happen in the 70s and 80s under Charlie High when they were snooping on each other. Now they're snooping on the opposition. The Minister for Foreign Affairs has condemned the leaking of the document about Mary McAleese. David Andrews said, whoever leaked this material ought to have realised how harmful such actions can be to the peace process. The Fine Gael leader, John Bruton, vehemently denied he had any role in the leak and he asked the Taoiseach to withdraw what he called his false and malevolent accusation. This afternoon, the Taoiseach gave his response to our political correspondent, Una Claffey. Do you now accept John Bruton's assurance that he had nothing to do with the leak from foreign affairs in last Sunday's business post? Oh, I do. If he, if he said he didn't do it, um, then uh, not, not sure enough, uh, I accept that. Uh, these documents are very, very uh, restricted. They're not like even other government documents. Um, the process that is followed uh, on these documents, only a handful of people, a handful, of people who are very much engaged in the whole issue uh, have these documents. But you know that John Bruton and members of Fine Gael and indeed the other two parties who were in the last coalition government would not breach the Official Secrets Act and actually leak official government documents, particularly of that sensitivity. So why did you appear to finger Mr. Bruton last night? Well, because somebody did. But those documents passed through other people's hands, the people who produced them, there are people who could have photoc photocopied them. It's extremely unlikely that somebody in the political process would have done it. Extremely unlikely um, that uh, somebody very quickly was able to reference one document on that particular week uh, out of over 100 documents that particular week um, and be able to very quickly research it uh, when it, one name was mentioned. Uh, somebody knew precisely what they were about. Uh, who, so it was somebody of a high uh, political acumen that, that um, leaked that document. The British government has published its draft